18 months ago today, I came up with this brilliant idea to rebuild, or should we say restore, the world's only FP405. And here we are. And we have actually done it. I can't believe we've done it. All thanks to Ted and his great guidance. Now, I can't show you a video of it running yet till after Tank Fest. It's just something we agreed, which is fair enough. But we can show you what we've done up to date now. And apologies, we haven't been doing any videos recently. Well, it's only been 10 days, but it's like I've not put one out for a year from what people say. But uh, we've been quite busy, to say the least. Jack has finally returned again. So we've fitted all relative mud guards that weren't on there before, all special. It's got a bit hard to see now because it's on the lorry because it's literally going to tank fest in the morning at four o'clock. But yeah, so it's all running and driving nice. We've fitted an electric fuel pump and the fuel tank's all good. Fitted the traverse, the traverse gearbox, the elevation. We'll show you a little bit of that. That's the first time that's worked in a long time. Done all sorts basically, we've finished pretty much everything. There are still things that we need to do, things that aren't quite finished, but we can't do everything in the time scale. At least it's gonna make it to Tank Fest. There's little things like those exhaust guards need fixing down properly. There's a piece missing uh, off both sides that we're gonna to have to make up. But generally, I think I think we've done pretty well really, considering the, the time scale. We've done it, what, what has it took, six months? Six months, something like that. So we haven't had a whole bunch of time, but we've uh, managed to do a fair little bit. And we've also, climb up here, climb up here. We'll show you a little look inside the back door. It now has a handle. That needs finishing, but it, it, it'll do. Come inside. Oh, it's really warm in here. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'll open this up to let some light into the subject. Right, so we have proper working elevation now. Uh, we've got the seat in, it does need a pull string, but we just simply haven't had time just yet. We've got the little periscopes in. We've got no sighting range equipment, but there wasn't any, so we're hoping we can probably get all that in time and fit it, and maybe some dummy rounds. Uh, we've got the traverse gearbox all fitted, and we'll show you a video of that. That was the a bit tricky. That's a standard Centurion Traverse um, gearbox and handle, and we've convert we've made a plate that converts it from the standard Centurion to the F3 5 in a way that it hasn't damaged the turret or the Traverse gearbox. So it took a little bit of doing, but it works beautifully. I would show you now, but it's all in the gun crutch, all ready for transport tomorrow. So I don't want anyone to take it out of that. But there'll be plenty of videos after this, a bit driving around and hopefully the gun moving around bits and pieces. Well, actually, we have got a video of the gun going around, so I'll put that in there now. Um, and down there, if you just pop the camera down there, we have fitted... Um, the fuel tank is actually in between those two little doors up front. Uh, and all the fuel pipes have been made out of hydraulic line. Uh, we put screw-on fuel filter just for quickness and basically it's cheaper. Uh, and yes, you can get the filter off before any clever person says. We're running a, har a holly carburetor. <coughs> running a, no. We're running a holly fuel pump with a regulator uh, recommended by a good friend of mine, Adrian Clayton, that is very clever with Centurions. And I must admit, it runs amazing off that pump. It makes such a difference. Now, yes, we've still got the driver's area to do. We've still got the subfloor to put in at the bottom down there. But we just simply haven't had time for the tank press, but that will all be covered up. So all of that level there, you won't see. I know there's fire extinguishers in there. That's just a bit of a safety thing. If we're driving it around in front of the public and if there's a fire, by the time I've got out to find a fire extinguisher, the whole lot will be gone. So I want to be well prepared because you know what I'm like for fires. Um, driver's area again, we're going to have to take all the seats out and, and uh, give a full clean paint in there and do all the dashboards and the dars, but we just we just simply haven't had time for that. But it will get done. It's not like uh, not like we don't do stuff around there, we just haven't had the time for, for tank fest. Inside the turret we'll probably want just painting again. There's various bits and pieces that we'll want fitted in here. But yeah, I'm I'm really pleased with it. I'm pretty confident it's gonna run and drive okay. That's my biggest worry because 
if it breaks down on the first day, I'm going, oh, it's such a fool in front of loads and loads of people. But I look a fool in front of loads and loads of people on a daily basis. So <laughs> there's nothing new there. But I'd like it to be a success because um, everyone, everyone that's helped, all the individuals that's helped, uh, we literally couldn't have done it without everyone. And we're going to get a little plaque made. So all the individual people that helped, you know, the engineers, everyone that played a part, I want to put their name on on the vehicle and of course goes out saying thanks to Walder Tanks, this wouldn't have been possible without them and the Tank Museum. They've been great to work with and it seems bizarre but here we are doing this. It still doesn't seem real exactly what we're doing and to think that in an 18 months of having the idea here we are sat in the real thing running and driving about to take it to a show. It doesn't seem right. So this is just a few videos of how we made the bracket to hold the traverse gear. I better kiss him. It's working well, I'd say. Yeah, I've got the lay by the other side. Yeah, it's, it's a lot easier to get out than it is to get in. Yeah, you can put it in the lay by the other side. Yeah. Well, I think you'll probably get out of the lay by the other side. We got that, Jay. That plane's upside down, Joe. It's not having a good time. Sorry. There we go. That's better. That's better. Thank you, Leatherman. What do you think? What? Ow! Don't scratch him. What do you think? More old legs. Yeah. Going to the tent, the guy just did it. Uh, uh, we also had to adapt the track guard support brackets. This is because the gun crutch gets in the way. Fitting the belly plates was also necessary as the dust is going to get sucked up into the engine bay and make a real mess of it. So I got this horrible job of putting them back in. And also a huge thanks to Tiffany who came down and did the most important part here and put Spud back on the turret. So this is just a quick reminder of where we started. And uh, where we are now. The people that haven't seen this uh, series before, but it will be in a playlist. So if you haven't seen all of them, if you want to, go go and look through them. I'm not demanding you to watch my videos. I'm not making you like or subscribe. You do as you like around here. If the video's crap, you'll tell us. But um, we try and keep them as interested as we possibly can. And uh, Ted has worked absolutely immensely hard on this project. And I think everybody needs to thank Ted for his uh, hard work and guidance on this. And to be honest, I'm absolutely knackered. So. I will see the people that are going to Tankfest. I shall see you at Tankfest. And uh, thanks for everyone else for following and enjoying the videos that we've put up. And we will be putting another one up soon after Tankfest of it driving around, which I'm hoping all goes well. Should be okay. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you again.